Hello, um, I am Marichu Elvisa and I'm one of the coordinators for Winnet Jeep for American Justice, along with Jimmy Kirsch, Alejandra Prado, and Irene Morrow. Last March, we were honored to receive $25,000 of grant from Community Foundation to provide assistance to our immigrant community, suffering the effects of COVID-19 during the pandemic. Through this grant, we were able to touch the lives of 49 families. In reaching out to this segment of our community, we relied upon the Latinx leaders, schools, as well as churches for referrals of those in need. Once a referral was received, our selection committee would then review and determine the amount of financial assistance, as well as other resources available. Our philosophy is to provide immediate relief, but equip them with resource information to provide extended assistance if needed to get back on track. As you'll see from the story, Irene is going to relate it is sometimes necessary for us to help our neighbors navigate the healthcare system and other resource systems. Our aim, however, is to allow individuals to be as independent as possible and to maintain dignity with respect. We work in solidarity, not charity. One family we helped uh, were parents uh, with two teenage daughters. They, the entire family contracted COVID and were in isolation during most of December of 2020. Both parents lost work due to being ill and due to employment closures. The mother worked in a restaurant and lost hours. Dad lost construction work. And finally, in February of 2021, he had to go out of town to find another job. The mother had emergency surgery in January of 2021 and then had to deal with extra bills along with medical bills from a past surgery. Until COVID, she had been able to make the $220 a month payments regularly on a past bill that started out over $20,000. Although she did receive some charity care from the hospital for the past surgery, she still had $6,000 left to pay. Because she had missed the last four months of payments due to loss of income and COVID, she was told it was being sent to collections. She herself called the billing office to try and negotiate with them, but she was told there was nothing else she could do unless she paid all the back payments and began making the regular payments again, which she couldn't do. The witch volunteer, Wenatchee for Immigrant Justice volunteer, called the hospital together with her, and she gave permission for the volunteer to talk with them. The initial person gave the same information that it was gonna to go to collect collections unless she paid the bill. The volunteer asked to speak to a supervisor and then asked them to consider what she had gone through due to COVID and to take the pandemic into consideration. They were reluctant at first, but finally, Widge was able to negotiate a lower payment of $60 a month for the next three months and they agreed to not send it to collections. The experience made us all realize our own privilege and the lack of equity in our system. This woman who had paid her bills regularly and on time was affected by the pandemic, but was confronted by an inflexible system. Without immigration status, she was afraid to ask for anything more. Only when an English speaker with authority advocated did they relent and allow her another option. We ended up giving her $1,500 to help with her accumulated bills due to the pandemic, rent, and other needs, and emergency surgery. Before the volunteer left her home that day, she was humbled as the mother asked to pray, giving thanks with tears for the help she received, which is extremely grateful for the Helping Hands Fund that allow us to do this important work. We are so grateful for this opportunity and thank you so much for helping to touch the lives of those in need. You have made a significant impact in our community.